Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome to my SNW Light Rifle Gold Order Weapon Review. That is a mouthful. Thank you for being here, guys. Now, I like the SNW uh, rifle. It is, or light rifle? I think it's SNW Light Rifle, whatever it is. Um, it's a good gun. I really do like it. I think it's a solid weapon overall. It's certainly not as powerful as something like the Gewehr Kurs or even like um, an RMN is about as powerful as this, I would say. Uh, but it, it's, it's better than like the Peterson rifle or the Berdan 2, um, at least if you're not counting the absolute meme potential of the Berdan 2. So it's, it's average, right? It's something that it's, it's better than most of the weapons in the tree. Um, it, it feels like a better M1 carbine in, in a lot of ways. It's got much better sights than the M1 carbine. It's got those open sights. So if you're a fan of open sights as opposed to the people sights, um, then you're definitely going to enjoy the SNW over something like the M1 carbine. But it really does lack the firepower that you might expect from an assaulter weapon most of the time, right? You're, you're really not going to be able to do as much damage at close quarters with this weapon as opposed to a Thompson or even a Grease Gun, and you're going to lose a lot of the times to even stuff like MP40s. And for a Gold Order weapon, you might want something with a little bit more kick and pizzazz, and if that's the case, then I would recommend maybe going with the Hyde Model 35. But... The thing that, about the SNW that makes it shine is the fact that it is very good at all ranges. While something like a Thompson will fall off and be harder to use at medium ranges, the SNW rifle is very good at all ranges. Um, it does fall off at those long ranges, but it is still very, very serviceable. It does about 7.2 damage, so it's a two-shot kill, and it fires very, very quickly. I think it has about 450 rate of fire, so even faster than all the semi-autos. Um, it fires basically as fast as you can pull the trigger. And with a very good 20 round magazine, you're going to be doing uh, a lot of damage at medium ranges. And that's where I think this weapon kind of excels is kind of in that medium range threshold. But again, it's just a jack of all trades. It, it can do well in close range and beat bolt actions up close and semi-autos up close even. Um, it'll beat, you know, SMGs at medium and long ranges. It's just an overall very kind of... Um, a variable weapon, I suppose, right? It's, it's very good at performing at all ranges. That's what I personally really like about the weapon. Um, I feel like I can take this into any situation and I'm going to be able to use it fairly effectively, right? One thing that I don't like about this weapon is its reload. Uh, I hope this gets fixed and hopefully someone from Darkflow sees this video and is able to fix this because right now when you hit the reload, it actually is delayed. If you guys watch really closely, you can see when I run out of ammo or whenever I go to reload, I'm actually hitting the reload key about a half second or so before. And maybe this is just a weird part of the, uh, the reload animation itself, but it just feels really strange. It feels like I hit the reload key and then it starts reloading maybe, you know, a couple seconds out, not a couple seconds, like a half second after I've kind of finished hitting that key. And so it just feels really awkward in that capacity. And I think that those of you that, that end up picking this weapon up, you'll see what I mean by that. It throws your muscle memory off, it throws your kind of your, your head, um, your head space out of whack a little bit. So that is, uh, that is my biggest problem with this weapon. But overall, I've had a lot of success with this weapon. I think it's a solid weapon overall. Um, I don't think that it's a good weapon to pick up as your first gold order weapon of the game. I think that's better off for something like the Kurs or the Hide. But I think that, you know, if, you, if you've got a bunch of Kurzes already and you've got a bunch of these other weapons and you're just looking for something that's a little bit different, just a good weapon that you can pick up for Normandy allies to help you out in your grind, I think that the SNW rifle is definitely a good choice and you will not be disappointed. So that's it, guys. That's my review for the weapon. I guess if I had to give it a number, I'd give it like, I don't know, seven and a half out of 10. There you go. Um, let me know in the comments below, guys, what you guys think about the SNW. Have you guys used it? Those of you that have picked it up, do you guys agree or do you guys just hate it? Do you guys love it? Let me know down below and let me know on twitch.tv slash kquadro in our, in our community discord as well. But that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.